Yo, what's going on, everybody? I'm Akeem Lewontin, and in today's Fix of Entertainment news, the powers of the Ten Rings shown off in the new Sung Chi trailer, a Predator movie origin story is in the works, and the Wu Tang's one of a kind album has a new home. Let's drop it. <laughs> The new Sung Chi trailer surprised all of us with a drop out of nowhere. Definitely a welcome treat. Now in it, we see the titular hero facing off against his father, the notorious Marvel villain, the Mandarin. Now while the trailer is rather short, it gives us just enough of a glimpse at the powers the Ten Rings possess. Now we even see the Mandarin wielding the Ten Rings, emitting what appears to be electrokinetic blasts. Now although we've heard of the Mandarin within the MCU before, this will be the first time we see him and the Ten Rings in action. Now given the depiction of the rings in Sung Chi, it's hard to tell if they'll individually possess the powers each ring does in the comics. Now some of the functions of the original set of rings in the comics gave the Mandarin the ability to emit flame blasts, ice blasts, along with other elemental abilities and even magnified psychic energy. Now each of the 10 rings gave Mandarin a unique ability to use to his advantage. Based on what we've seen depicted in the Sung Chi trailer, it's not quite clear if the rings in the MCU can be used similarly. Now it looks a bit like they function as a single unit, but this does give us hope that we'll see the Mandarin in full on effect as he faces off against his son, proving once and for all that the Mandarin is in fact real. The Mandarin, see, it's not real. Not true, Trevor, he's real, okay? And we'll get to see just how real he is when Sung Chi and The Legend of the Ten Rings hits theaters September 3rd. Now in other movie news, we're getting a prequel to the Predator movies, yeah. Now in a recent interview with Collider, producers John Davis and John Fox revealed the title of the movie and a few details on the synopsis. The movie is titled Skull. That's it, there's no colon, it's just Skull. The producers also shared that it'll be an origin story that traces the Predator's first journey to Earth. And unlike the previous films, there will be a female-fronted protagonist taking on the cackling extraterrestrial. <laughs> Why the hell he always laughing like that when he about to die, man? It's so weird, man. You, you strange, man. You strange, Predator. You use a strange race. Anyways, no word yet on the release date of Skull, but they are reportedly probably three quarters of the way through production. And finally, that one of a kind Wu-Tang Clan album, Once Upon a Time in Shaolin, has been resold. Now, once owned by the infamous pharmaceutical executive Martin Shkreli, it's now in good hands. Literally anyone else's. The only thing is, we don't know whose hands those are. Now, Skrilli won it in an auction back in 2015 for around $2 million, but handed the prize possession over in 2018 when the U.S. government seized his assets after he was convicted of securities fraud. Now, as reported by the BBC, the U.S. government sold the Wu-Tang album reportedly for more than the original $2 million Skrilli paid for it. And according to the U.S. Department of Justice, with the contract of sale containing a confidentiality provision, the buyer's identity is protected. So hopefully it's someone who can really, really appreciate the album and treat it like the work of art it was intended to be. And that about does it for your entertainment fix today. I'm Akeem Lewanson and thanks for watching, y'all. Now that you're all caught up on the news, check out our review of the Suicide Squad movie. Download the IGN app on all your devices and for everything else, keep it locked right here on IGN.